Hallo Lauren, freut mich. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to Burlington High School. Es ist also wirklich eine Schule. It's a school. It was a Macy's and we have transformed it into um, our high school. Yeah, we kind of took it as a joke because, you know, it's kind of hard to grab the reality that we now go to school inside of Macy's, you know? Like, we're used to going to our own Burns High School, you know, it's kind of like the, you'd go into the school and you'd be like, okay, I am now in a class. Like, I'm in a school environment. And yet still, when I walk in here, I'm kind of feeling like I should go shopping or something like that. I used to come here like once or twice a month, you know, to buy stuff, you know, I know this red carpet, you know, as soon as I walked in the first, it was like, ah, oh, this is where I knew where everything was, like where they check out, you know, the cashiers, you know, it's just like each department. So it's just really great, you know, and I have a red carpet and I feel like every day walking, this is um, something uh, that kind of looks like Hollywood to me. On the first day of school, the first day of classes, we received a call from the Department of Health saying that the, um, they had detected PCBs um, in the air. Um, and so we were told that our building wasn't able to be used anymore. And so we had to immediately close down our school. And so after we met with a lot of different people in the community, and then our director of property services said, well, what about the Macy's? Um, you know, I know the owner's there. Um, how about I make a call? I, I was like, this is never gonna happen. I'm like, there is no way that this is gonna become a school. It, it was this blank slate and I just was like, I couldn't see how we were ever gonna be able to bring a thousand students in here. And when I look at this today, um, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, this school, it, it's beautiful. try to be as quiet as possible, but we can't control other classes. Um, I mean, we have another 
math class and it's an algebra class right next to us and they'll be you know talking about stuff all class and like we're trying to focus on some free calc and it can be really difficult sometimes. I think that's the one thing that's been really hard is that there's no natural light that comes in. Um, the lights here are very bright, so I think sometimes it hides the fact that you don't have a window nearby. Um, there's been a couple things that we've tried to encourage our, our faculty and staff to do, which is to one, get outside um, with their classes, to be able to take them down to the park, which is right around the corner, and, and teach classes out there, and just also get out themselves and take walks. Yeah, you know, there's something. Right now I'm heading to my PE class. It's located in what I believe was just like the back storage room of the Macy's, you know, where they keep like just all their extra stuff that they're not putting out on the shelves. It's just through here on the right. I'm an eternal optimist, and so I'm always looking at, okay, how can I use this space to develop my students? Um, and so for me, it wasn't, I was clearly like, I'm like, okay, the ceiling's not very high. There's not that much floor space. And so I'm like, we could do floor hockey. Boom, I, I know how to set that up. And then we did pickleball. We tried badminton with modified nets. 